It pains and break my heart to see my own child cry because they understand that you have to leave home for the very best reason. This is where the family room used to be and where on the weekends you want to sleep the extra 20 minutes and your kids will be rushing to the door, waking mommy, daddy, I'm hungry, let's wake up now, let's go and play. And you get so annoyed saying, can I get a little bit more sleep? But it's days like this where I feel so alone now because those moments will not be there when I wake up. So my message to you young parents, appreciate it. Take a deep breath, it doesn't last forever. These are beautiful moments and memories that don't last forever. Take a deep breath, appreciate it, acknowledge it, because when it's gone, it's gone. Not everything goes according to plan. I wish there was a perfect plan, the perfect timing that we want to execute. But there are many factors that we cannot control in the world. The economics, your pay, your boss, the job that you want to find next, you know, the house you want to buy next. It's something not in your control. But the whole overall journey has to proceed because your kids are ever growing up. So for me, I've been separated from my kids now. They're all in a different, bigger city while well, I'm still stuck here because I'm tied down to my job. I still have to bring the revenue in so that I can keep the ball rolling. Plans got derailed. As you all know, if you followed me on family investment, the Luna crypto crash wasn't great. I got greedy, my fault. I have to stand up. I have to prove to my kids that daddy is not a quitter. Daddy is there to fight for everything for the family. So that next time they will do the same for their family. The next generation, the story goes on. So now we've been separated, we've been away. It pains me that I cannot see them at night to say them good night or help them brush their teeth. Little things like that matters. Time, the journey, the story continues. A few folks have been asking me, Alex, are you still in the stock market? What are you doing? Are you still 99% cash? Yes, I'm still fully on cash, but I have been swinging trading on the market for the last at least five weeks. You know, I keep a very small portfolio. I keep a small uh, risk reward strategy. I look at the likes of AMD, Disney, Micro, whatever opportunity I get that I can swing in. And I use, as you all know, you all follow me, I use the VIX. When the VIX is above 24, to birth 30, that's when I buy, I ignore the noise. But when the VIX hits 24 to 22, I start selling and taking profit. So some people have asked me, Alex, what stocks are you monitoring just now? So this top three that I'm monitoring, number one is AMD. For obvious reason, my semiconductor approach will still stay game regardless of the climate. And number two, I like Google and followed by Disney is the ones that I really like because of the patents and the brands. And Google, I think for future years to come and the cash flow, the PE is really looking, looking very good. But other dark horses like PayPal, Shopify, Micron, those are the ones I like as well that I am monitoring closely. And also dark horses like Slumberjay, Dark Trace, recession still on the horizon, technicals barely still coming down, so I have to be patient. I'm taking a whole different approach. Okay, this is me just now, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I do miss my family very, very much. So just one last message to all family out there. Go and hug your mom and dad. If you've got children, go give them a deep, deep hug because they're not there forever. And when you even distant from them for a few days, a few weeks, it pains you that they're not there. So appreciate, take the moment to look around you because things do not last forever. And when they get taken away from you, it's not a good feeling. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. And I hope the next time I'll see my family together as well. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Oh.